So I'm now riding with the Philips Saferide 80 neutral white and I'm going to compare with the Lupina SL which should give about 1000 lumen and Supernova M99 Pure. Um, this is the Philips Saferide. It has slightly too much light at the front, but it does not really hinder much. It's not on the front wheel, so that's good. So I'm going to switch now the Lupina SL and Supernova. I've switched, I've put them on a switch so that they can switch between them while riding. So, okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I didn't have a mount for this light. It, it's a lone, loner, but I made something provisionally, and you can see a lot of lights. However, it's a lot cooler. There are some, let's see, it's a bit, I'm too, a bit too high, I think, yeah, don't we, straight up, it's not okay, man, there, ah, well, okay, let's try aiming manually for a bit. So you can see it has a much wider beam, especially in the beginning, and it's good for curves. I will switch to the 99 Pure. Uh, should give approximately 500 lumen. It has a little bit higher intensity at the top, so you can see a little bit further with it, but it's not really important because with all these lamps you can see about 70 meters or so. More so difficult because everything is so small, and this uh, supernova has a bit of an issue with this hotspot. Uh, that's pretty annoying. It also puts too much light on the front wheel. And for how big it is, etc., I'm not that impressed with this lamp. But okay, let's continue riding through a curve and then you can have a look. Uh, hope the aim is a bit better. Yeah. So I'm aiming it approximately such that the cutoff is below the lamp itself. So on the fences, etc., to the right, it should be in the end going down to the road surface and not up. I think it's aimed slightly too high. But okay. Yeah 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 yeah. Oh it's automatic. Through a bump it's going down, that's no, not not okay. Yeah, I had to remake this video and I don't have much time today. I had to remake it because of some issues in with my camera. I hope this one goes okay. Let's go through this curve, see what happens, then switch to the Lupina. And for the rest of the results and the impressions, because you know, beam shots and videos are not what you experience in reality. So you need to read the review and see my sights on this, top this topic. So um, if you see, look at the right, there's very little light going through the curve. I would say too little. I'll switch to the Lupina SL. And then I will aim this manually because of the bit crappy method that I mounted it with. Let's see. So you can see quite a bit. Compared to the neutral white Saferide 80, it's a lot cooler. It's not quite good. Not so good. Not quite optimal, I meant. 
Uh, especially a few days ago I was riding in the ra uh, yeah, rainy weather, it had just rained, partially dried up, partially wet roads. And neutral white is so much better than you see much more the difference between what is wet and what is not, etc. In any case you see that this la lamp by Lupina is a lot more even in the beam. Similar in beam quality, I suppose, as the uh, Safer at 80. The Safer at 80 is better because of the neutral white light. Yeah, and it's been uh, stormy as well, it's very annoying. So, 